Hey everybody, it's DreamSword here, and today I am joined by my personal favorite co-commenter, me. Yeah, I'm doing this one solo today, so uh, here chat kind of imitates the weird dude who was looking for the hair formula earlier, and then she's like, hey, you need to go look for Harold. That's your next quest. Harold, if you don't know, is from Tales of Destiny 2. Speaking of Tales of Destiny 2, so are all these people. Natalie, Kyle, and Rila. In order from left to right. Natalie here is an archer and mage, and she is a co-worker to Harold in this world. Here's Kyle, the hero of Tales of Destiny 2, swordsman. And Rila, the healer lady. Yeah, here they're just explaining, yeah, we need to go look for Harold because she's disappeared and whatnot. Uh, Kyle and Rila have both joined the guild, and Natalie is a co-worker to Harold. Uh, Kyle and Rila especially apparently need Harold's help because they are in a quote-unquote special circumstance. What that special circumstance is, we'll cover later. So, yeah, I mean, I'm doing this one myself because no one in my circle of friends really cares too much about Tales of Destiny 2, and uh, I didn't want to drag any of them into it if they were not up to it, so I figured, hey, this is a short episode anyway, I can handle this, right? So, yeah, here in a throwback to Tales of Destiny 2, Nanali guides the group to a volcano, and they specifically state that Rila will be on standby, meaning that you cannot make a full Destiny 2 party uh, here. Which, uh, which I wanted to, actually. But, uh, yeah, since Rila couldn't join, I just decided to go with my lowest leveled healer, and that turned out to be Iria. This is, we're still in the part of the game where the grind isn't too bad, but uh, in a few parts it, it starts getting to be annoying. So yeah, sounds dangerous, right? And already they're complaining about how hot it is. Well, I would hope so, because there's lava, like, right there. Kyle still wants to become a hero, by the way. And here, let me see, what was the thing we just selected? Let's see. My idea was, is this Harold's idea, or the two choices were, is this Harold's idea of a holiday, or can't, we can't help how hot it is, we just kind of have to deal with it. I ended up choosing, we gotta just deal with it. And Natalie's like, yeah, I know, but Harold's always bugging me with the shit she does. And it's also revealed that uh, Kyle and Rila come from a different world. If this is supposed to be sort of a nod to Radiant Mythology 1, they probably come straight from Destiny 2. Although my guess is that they come from the future of uh, this world. I mean, that would just be my, my assumption. Oh, well, my guess is we're wrong, actually. Kyle apparently just explained that they wanted to go to the past of their world, but they got thrown here instead. Well, that's quite the, quite the misdirection there, Kyle. You might want to work on that. So yeah, they apparently know about lenses in here. I'm just showing off how they fight. Yes, I am playing as Kyle. His combos are really weird. At least right now, they are to me. Uh, so yeah. I have Natalie just... I ordered her to just stand back and be a mage because her archery skills aren't much to talk about. And here I'm showing off the Hunter class for the Descender. You know, basic stuff. Apparently, Rila also has the ability to travel through time, but this world having so little energy, she can't do the spell again, which is why they need Harold's help. So, there you go. 
But yeah, I mean, I don't know where I would place these guys on the tier list. They just kind of seem okay to me. Maybe I'm wrong and they're, like, amazing. I don't know. Regardless, don't expect me to be using the Destiny 2 cast too often. I, I, I got my favoritism and all, you know. Oh, and also true, Destiny 2, Kyle also wanted to see if his father was the hero everyone talked about. So it'll be interesting to see how he and uh, Stan interact with each other. Apparently, by the way, Kyle's uh, intro battle code is not one that he has in Destiny 2. Apparently original to this game. His quote here is apparently, I'll eliminate them all! Or something like that. And uh, that that's apparently not a thing in COD 2. Eh, whatever. Let me just scroll down to my notes here. By the way, that sword he's wielding is actually the intended best weapon of for him in Destiny 2, apparently. Although apparently nobody uses it because it's kind of crap. <laughs> yeah, a little interesting bit of trivia there. Oh man, uh, Natalie's uh, pigtails are out of this world whenever she's casting. I don't know if you guys could tell. <laughs> I just noticed it myself. <laughs> but yeah, and this is where you might also be able to notice that the people who did this menu translation, they couldn't, re they didn't really know what to do with uh, attacks that weren't localized, so they just did their best to translate them literally, and it uh, it resulted in some very interesting names. But I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal, because you can still tell what everything is, but, you know. That said, uh, I, I have a feeling whoever made this uh, patch, maybe they weren't natively an English speaker, maybe, I don't know. Just with some of the stuff I've seen. I could be totally wrong. And there's Harold, so let's talk to- oh, wait, nope, we have one more fight. Because this uh, red gecko definitely wanted to, wanted to see what we were about. So, let's heal up our TP here, and go on in for the fight. Yeah, I only really have one combo here right now, because uh, Kyle and Natalie joined at a really low level. As all the t new characters do. Most of them join at, like, level 10. Even when, like, your average party should be, like, level, like, 30. It's, it's annoying. So yeah, here's Harold, and she's totally fine. Natalie's like, why are you taking a picnic in the middle of a volcano? And Harold's like, hey man, I'll do what I want. And she's also performing experiments, apparently. So yeah, classic Harold. Even if you haven't played Destiny 2, if you've played Radiant 1, you get a decent idea of what her and Natalie are about. Because they were the Destiny 2 reps in that game. <laughs> so here, Harold just kind of makes a guess that Kyle's from another world, and Kyle's like, holy crap, how could you tell? And in a call back to Destiny 2, Harold's like, wait, that was right? I just kind of said stuff. <laughs> Apparently Harold and Natalie are also part of the guild, and Harold just kind of ran off without telling anybody. And apparently that... And like I said, the dude who won the hair formula personally wanted to talk to Harold, I guess they're associates. So, yeah. We're just gonna kinda drag Harold back now. Quite literally, it looks like. Alright, 
Alright, so back to base. By the way, apparently Harold claims that her experiments have the ability to send things to other worlds, but she needs to do some more research before she can send Kyle and Rila. Because something as big as a person is kind of impossible at the current moment. So yeah, Harold's advice then is to simply stay with the guild until they can fix the mana problem, and then once they do, you know, problem solved. Kyle and Rilla can probably return back to their world. And, you know, Harold's also interest, uh, interested in those blueprints for Larva slash Leva, or however you say it. Harold's like, she does this shit a lot, but she is smart, so we kind of have to let her do what she wants. And here this guy is complaining that a bunch of the stuff Harold gave him stopped working properly. And Harold's like, yeah, no refunds, sorry. Yeah, apparently that hair growth formula... Harold had made one and it kinda didn't work. And Harold is like, yeah, well, I'm not gonna work for you anymore. I'm working for the skilled, so piss off, whatever. And in response to all this, this guy is going to basically just send us requests to help him out. Because Harold won't help him, he's going to make the guild help him, so that way Harold will help him be a proxy, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this scene, and kinda sorta of the gist of this part, because it's just more them talking about integrating the Destiny 2 cast into the guild. Speaking of Destiny 2, it's kinda sad Judas wasn't in this game, I like him, but uh... You know, whatever. I, I imagine they didn't want to deal with uh, having both Leon and Judas in one game, it'd be kind of confusing. That said, Radiant 3 ends up doing that, so, you know, whatever. I love the shoes my Descender is wearing, by the way. Those, like, elf shoes. They're adorable. By the way, you'll be seeing Harold and Rila in action in later parts. I will make a point to use them. Just in case you really want to see them this time around. But, yeah, with that, that's basically the end of this part, so see you guys next time. Later.